Hello all, welcome to Megaway Royce. In this video we are going to see Autovier R3 that is notifications. Let's get into the video. Okay. I'll select your device. Okay, my watch is connected already. We'll go to notifications. So you can see it try to get any notification available from watch. It's nothing is there, so it's empty. Click on the top right. So we are going to create a new notification here the first one is the name so you have to give a name for this element so give a unique name okay so or else it will override the uh, existing one if you are giving the same name okay that is the first one a command to show so on what event your watch should display the notification okay so here click yes so there are some predefined events given already okay uh, let's say when your watch screen is turning on that time you want to show that notification automatically so in that case you have to select screen on so like that there are some different options available so for now i will select screen on only just apply it okay you can see notification created on your watch i will go here swipe down you can see there is auto wear one notification is created i will just tap and nothing will happen because we didn't configure anything so this notification is empty it doesn't have anything actually so we can do only one thing is clear you can see it's clear is the right so you can just clear it this one is uh, auto is already running in our watch you can't clear this so this is the uh, we didn't create this notification it's automatically coming okay let me go back i'll just edit this so here third option persistent so let's say uh, now i have cleared the notification right let's say you don't want to clear that notification so you have to make it persistent I will apply this I will show you so now I will tap on it you can see the notification created right I will just swipe you can see there is no clear option coming so you cannot clear this notification ok so for that only persistent in some case you may require this one uh, now I will remove this persistent and I will give title so you can give a title whatever you want um, I will just give title only here so it will be clear to understand here text only ok and group so here you can mention something uh, so whatever notification is created by this app everything will be grouped together I will just leave this as of now so next action so when you enter something on this a open button will be created available in the notification so when you tap on that open button whatever text you give here that will be sent to the phone um, I will give open value ok so second one is action on dismiss so this is I did a swipe right to clear the notification so in that case what information it should send to the phone so I will enter as dismiss value ok I will just apply it so it's created open watch you can see the title what we added and text what we added so you can replace whatever you want in that place so I'll just tap on it you can see now open button is coming so when I tap on this open button the value what I given there will be sent to the phone I'll just tap you can see the open value command is received I'll tap once more you can see right I will just swipe so it's clearing once I am clearing you will receive dismiss value so that is what I have given there on the accident dismiss ok so basically we can use this value in the tasker or macro droid using that command you can perform some action on your mobile phone ok let's say you want to play some music from your watch <coughs> so you can keep a persistent notification so when you click on that open it will send that value here so using that value you can launch a music player you can play songs it's just an example I'm saying so I will edit it and here we can give icon if you want picture you can give any background picture if you want I will just leave it this little uh, priority you can give some max uh, high those priorities for the notification so you dismiss on open so this is this will invert uh, basically when you click on that open it will close that uh, it will clear that notification if you check this box 
vibration pattern so when the notification comes you can click here so this will be the pattern when the notification comes it will vibrate in that pattern so <coughs> you can see there are uh, button 1 2 button 5 okay so basically you can create 5 buttons in the notification along with the notification okay I will just open this action button on so here uh, button 1 okay so actually this is the command that will be sent by the watch to the phone when we tap on the button 1 so this is the label which will be displayed on the notification okay I will give B1 this will fine I will give button 2 also label B2 which will be displayed on the notification okay I will apply this okay it's updated open here open you can see you can see there are two buttons this is label what I have given B1 B2 when I click on B1 the action I have given that will be sent to the phone so B1 is button 1 you can see the command is received button 1 when I tap on B2 you can see button 2 is received so like this you can create five buttons in the notification itself for each button you can configure something so each button you can give some different values you can use that value and perform some action on your phone okay so that's how we can use this notification uh, buttons let me see is there anything else I buttons you can add some custom screens this are etc features so confirmation haptic feedback uh, so if you select this it will give a confirmation on your watch while performing an action etc etc this lot you can go through so but this is this is the basic uh, usage of this notification on our uh, auto wear app okay so in my uh, future video i will put some uh, macros uh, and how this notification is going to be useful for us okay so that's all in this video if you like this video you can press the like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you